prejudice about, about male nouns and the assumption that they're, that they're gay. That is comparatively recent. There is no evidence that there was a prejudice against male ballet dancers in the 19th century. The prejudice seems to arrive in the 1920s. Ballet is probably a different world from the rest of the contemporary dance or the professional dance scene because it has much older traditions. A dancer who I know uh, who started with the Royal Ballet and now uh, is very successful experimental dance maker, um, he said it was extraordinary uh, to find in the Royal Ballet in the late 70s, early 80s, um, that all of the male dancers were given women's names, like in an 18th century Molly House. So that almost like there was a, a, a kind of throwback, a continuity of feminizing dancers. And of course, quite a lot of some of them weren't gay at all. In order to dance, you have to come to terms with, your, with, with male sexuality, whether you're gay or straight. And that um, I, one of the things I argue in The Male Dancer is um, that a lot of um, straight dancers have to come to terms with the fact that people will think that they're gay.